Now, she was also asking Attorney Golan, if she goes home, can she also be petitioned by her current employer while she's waiting in her original country? This is the worst possible thing she can do. Oh. Because if she, if she goes home, uh, she will be subject to the three-year, ten-year bar, mm -hmm. uh, which means uh, she, she, she is uh, forbidden to come back to the United States for at least ten years because she stayed here illegally yes. in more than a year. So the employer can petition for her even if she's not here. She's not, she's not required to be here for the employer's petition but she will probably be delayed for 10 years before she can come back. Oh my goodness. Wow. So this is the worst, this is the worst possible plan. Wow. So her, the past application she had made to the immigration through this lawyer, uh, you think she can get back to that? Or since the lawyer is no longer to be found? How, 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 how do you know? How do you know that any application was made? That's right. I was wondering about that because she said that this lawyer had uh, several, you know, clients in the past and they were able to get a green card. And so they were hopeful that their second, their batch will also get the same. However, as they waited, they didn't hear from him anymore and now it's gone. And she said her application is almost 80% finished. I said, how do you know it's 80% finished? She said, because we've been with him for a long time. But since the lawyer is no longer there, <laughs> there's nothing to go back to. And perhaps that would be more dangerous, like right? inquiring to the USCIS if she had application at all? No, 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 the, the, no, the inquiring is, is not dangerous. Uh -huh. But the question is, uh, uh, I believe this is sort of a, a, a hopeful, hopeless lost case. Oh, wow. But again, 